Radio Texas, live with Buddy Logan. John Wolf, I don't dance on Radio Texas Live. I'm Buddy Logan, and fresh off his vacation in Colorado, John Wolf on with us tonight. John, what's up, dude? How you been? Man, I'm great. Uh, you and your wife, Amber, you guys just got back from a week in uh, Colorado doing some hiking and stuff. Is that something you've always been into hiking or is it something you're kind of adopting more now? Man, you know, I went to school in Colorado. Okay. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah, dude. See, you, you and I have known each other forever and you've just learned still learning new. stuff. Still learning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I've been a, a big fan of the mountains for most of my life. Uh, we had a blast. We, we got to hike some mountains and and uh, did some fly fishing. So, are you a fly fisherman? Would you call yourself a fly fisherman, or you, did you just kind of get out there and experiment with it? I've never done it. I'll just put it out there. I've never fly fished before. Where do you yeah, rate yourself? An, another new thing. Okay, that, cool. That you, you didn't know? No. Oh this no. Is something you did, this is something you didn't know about John Wolf, man. I'm a legit fly fisherman. You're like a friend. river runs through it fly fisherman. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I've been I've been fly fishing for 20 years now. Do you really enjoy it? I started enjoying it about 10 years ago. So it took me, <laughs> I hated it for 10 years. He's like, I'm still going to do this. <laughs> I'm not stopping. It's got to be fun it's eventually. Got... As my buddy puts it, you know, you catch a lot of tree pounders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tree, yeah, tree pounders. pounders, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you get, you get your line stuck in the trees a lot. Is it as easy to catch a buzz than just fishing off a, off a boat? Well, you know, it's, it depends on how your day is going. If you're having a bad day fly fishing, you can catch a buzz real easy. Yeah, okay, all right. RTX Live with Buddy Logan. How great is the Radio Texas Live app? Lance says, don't call him because you'll go straight to voicemail because he's listening to it. You're going to miss phone calls, but it's totally worth it. Radio Texas Live in your app store, Google Play. Get that app. Get that app. Baby, have a song. John Wolf hanging out with us tonight, John. I uh, appreciate your time, man. Absolutely. All right, so uh, Juan Lobo Tequila, your tequila, it's been out right at a year now. Back in May, you released Juan Lobo Tequila, The Quest, a uh, short film. And John, you are showcasing those acting chops of yours. Yeah, man. I mean, what'd you think? I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I got goosebumps. <laughs> That's good. That's was good, great. man. That's good. Well, you know, we, uh, we're really proud of, of, of Juan Lobo Tequila. I mean, anytime that you sort of step into the world of launching brands, you, you got to be, you know, really strapped in for a long ride, you know, yeah. but uh, Juan Lobo Tequila is starting to kind of make its uh, rounds around Texas and we have a lot of return customers and people are uh, loving the tequila. Awesome. Uh, John Wolf, the, uh, the photos for Juan Lobo, uh, you're sitting next to a wolf. Please, please tell me it's not Photoshopped and you were actually sitting next to a wolf. <laughs> well, I may burst your bubble, dude, ah! but, uh, no, I, I was sitting, I was sitting in an actual agave field. In, <laughs> that wasn't in Photoshopped. Tequila. Yeah, that was not Photoshopped. And, uh, <laughs> And then the wolf was actually a real wolf that we shot in a studio in Nashville. So it was um, it was a picture that was actually taken for your your promotion, too. Yeah. So, okay. He, he's a real he's a real wolf, and he's a um, and he's a Juan Lobo. He was he was working under your umbrella at the time. That's right. That's yeah. right. He was cool. a, he's a real wolf. He's he's really interesting. He really is a wild wolf. The dude he's he's big. He's massive. I think people tend to forget how huge wolves really are. John Wolf with us tonight. Uh, John, we're going to talk about your new album that you're set to start working on. And uh, maybe we'll spin something off your uh, live at Legendary Green Hall as well. Uh, more, more with John Wolf next. John Wolf hanging out with us tonight. It's Radio Texas Live. I'm Buddy Logan. John, always appreciate your time, man. Yes, sir, man. I appreciate you having me on. Dude, you're always welcome here. Always. You, uh, you got it your new live at the Legendary Green Hall. John Wolf live at the Legendary Green Hall. It was released in February of this year a great live album uh you are known for putting on great live shows and going through the album you guys did a tremendous job capturing the essence of a live john wolf concert awesome dude i, I appreciate it and uh you know it's kind of interesting because six or seven years have passed since my last live record so live at green hall i really wanted this one to kind of bring in all of the songs from you know, a few different records. And of course our live shows developed since way back then. So that was what was really pretty cool about live at green halls. It encapsulated more than just one record. 
Uh, you do a couple covers on it, right? Yeah, we did. Um, we did a, an old Billy Joe Shaver song, uh, "Honky Tonk Heroes Like Me." Yes, and uh, and it ain't cool, which is a, my favorite George Strait song. So how did how did you know with hundred great songs? How did how did uh, that song of George Strait become your favorite? I'm sure you're a fan of a lot of George Strait songs. How did it ain't cool get that uh, honor? Yeah, you know it. It was. Um, it kind of goes back to the early days of when Amber and I were dating, we used to go over here in South Austin to Woodrow's and drink beer together and play sad songs on the jukebox. <laughs> yeah, that's how I kind of figured out that this was the girl for me. You She'll know? drink beer and listen to sad songs with you. Yes. Yeah, yes. absolutely. So that was like kind of always our favorite. Nice. You know? Awesome. Well, let's spin your version off John Wolf live at Legendary Green Hall. It ain't cool. We got more with John coming up. Radio Radio Texas live with Buddy Logan. John, your latest EP feels like country music right at a year, a little over a year old now, which is wild. I guess it's because the last eight months has pretty much felt like we've all been in a coma. Yeah, dude. Time flies when you're in a pandemic. (laughs) Right, right. It freezes and it flies all at the same time. I don't understand <laughs> right. it. Um, but we were talking here a minute ago and you, you you were telling me that your favorite song off the EP is Heart to Steel Tonight. That's right. And you are thinking about possibly pushing it as a single. Yeah, Poss- yeah we're thinking about it. We, we just really love the song, believe in it. It's become a fan favorite. It also is, you know, I, I, just, I got married last year, which you knew that, right? right. On yep. November 30th. So uh, we had a great wedding and, you know, I wasn't going to sing at the wedding. Initially, I didn't think Amber wanted me to, but uh, <laughs> that all changed like a day or two before the wedding. You Did know, she tell you know. she wanted you to sing? Yeah. Yeah. That's she, awesome. She, it was great that she gave me like a day notice. You know, that was awesome. <laughs> Did, she re- Did she require you to sing? Or was she just saying, I would like for you to sing a bit? I felt the pressure, man. Let's just say that. <laughs> Let's just say that. I was, I was between a rock and a hard place. So um, we worked up hard to steal tonight and I sang it at our uh, reception, our party. So did, did she sing uh, with you? I know I've seen some of the videos you've done post COVID and she sings a little bit with you. Did you make her sing with you? At your wedding. I should have. You I did. should have. Yes. See, I was, un- I was unaware that Amber likes to sing along with me. So oh, this, this is this newly a, found. Th- this was, this is pandemic info. <laughs> oh, I was, I was wow. Un- unaware. But yeah, man, heart to steal tonight. I knocked it out of the park at the, uh, <laughs> if I don't say so myself. Uh, at, at the Everybody reception. loved it. I did a great job. Yeah, everybody loved it, man. I haven't asked anybody, but I'm assuming everybody loved it. <laughs> well, let's spin it. Let's do Let's do uh, Heart to Steel tonight. John Wolf off his EP Feels Like Country Music. John Wolf hanging out with us tonight, John. Found out a lot of things about you, that, including your fly fisherman, which I had no idea after our decade-long friendship. Uh, I guess we haven't been doing enough uh, fly fishing together, or fishing at all together. We can change that. We, we also haven't been doing enough Juan Lobo drinking together either, because I still have never tasted Juan Lobo tequila. Okay, we got and, some stuff to do. And and I feel like maybe you promised me like three years ago I'd get some. I know, and I I've know, I'm you. bad. We're, I got you covered good. though, buddy. Don't don't worry. Dude, I believe you, man. We're good. I, I trust you 100% over here. Um, all right, John Wolf, you got a, a new album that you are going to uh, begin working on here very soon. And you're doing something uh, unorthodox when it comes to yeah. making it? Yeah, for sure. You know, we're... Um, in, in the sort of environment that we're in, right. Where you're, everybody's trying to, trying to be productive. We decided let's, let's go in and work on a new record and have something completely done by the end of the year. Um, our hope is that we're back on the road next year and playing shows for everybody. And I don't really want to come off the road to, to make a record next year. So we've been working really hard on, on this new project and I've got a lot of secrets around it, so I can't say everything. Okay. But most of the album's going to be created in a, I guess you could call it a casita. Okay. Uh, in the Chihuahuan Desert outside of Terlingua. Does that mean little house, casita? Yeah. And you're going to be in the uh, desert at a little house? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, I mean, that's all I can say, man. That's it? I mean, that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> all right. You know, there's, I mean, there, uh, it's going to be a full length record, okay. which is exciting. And it's going to be a sort of a multimedia project. That's the other term I want to use that I can say. Multimedia project. Multimedia project and casita is all we're getting out of you tonight. Desert. 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 desert as well. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. So do you know the name of it? 
yet already? I, I don't. And if I did, I would not tell you. I knew you wouldn't. So have you, are you actually brainstorming some ideas already, though, for a name? Yeah, we are. Okay. We are. All right. That's good. That's good. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take what I can get. Uh, yeah. Be on the lookout. 2021, new album from John Wolf. Uh, right now, John, your latest single feels like country music uh, hovering around number one. It might be number one this week. Uh, another big hit for you. Feels like country music title track of your latest EP. John Wolf, thank you so much for your time, man. Thank you, brother. Thanks for having me on. Man. RTX Live with Buddy Logan. If it hits you like the heart of the matter, little slap back. 